Everybody's always liked Kirk Cousins, but it felt like last night passing for over five football fields in a shootout that it did feel like a moment, like you could go, whoa, that every quarterback needs a moment or two because uh, the Minnesota miracle was Case Keenum. That's right. That's right. So it's like, oh, that this is a Kirk moment. It was pretty special. Unbelievable finish. Good, good theater as well on a yeah. Thursday night. Yeah. How do people not like sports? Uh, that, that's what I asked myself last night watching uh, the Mets and the Falcons. So two takeaways from Atlanta's win. I picked this team to win the division, and I liked when they signed Kirk Cousins. He's a total pro plus. Kirk's been good for a long time, 10 years in the NFL. Nobody doubts that. But, you know, unless you're really into stats, which I am, and I think some of you are, but what are the big moments? And, and you know, the Minnesota miracle is actually Case Keenum. And so do people know that he has 15 game-winning drives in the last four years? Not only is that most in the NFL, including Mahomes, that's four more than any other quarterback. He also has the greatest comeback in league history for a quarterback, 33 points. He's also the first player in NFL history after last night to have 450-yard passing games for three different franchises. Reputations are earned, however, and early in his career, Kirk had a reputation that he would get in standalone or primetime games, he would get tight and a little anxious. By the way, that was Peyton Manning's reputation for years in the NFL. First four or five years, Peyton Manning and Kirk Cousins. Smart guys, detailed, very precise, very regimented. And uh, if you could get them off their game a little bit, it's a, it's a long game. You have to sit around in the hotel at night. Maybe it was that. It, it, it got them off their game. I don't know exactly what it was. Maybe I can ask Kirk later this hour. But whatever it was, Peyton Manning eventually broke out of it and was beating Brady at the end. And Kirk Cousins has the last several years broken out of that. And last night, just think about this. Think how long a football field is. He passed for over five of them. <laughs> it was an all-time performance. And by the way, his teammates let him down a little bit. Now, they made great plays, missed a couple field goals, a Darnell Mooney drop with six minutes left. Like, if they lose the game, he was wide open. That wasn't on Captain Kirk. But he has officially graduated to clutch quarterback class in this league. We know Mahomes is in it. You know, now we, we look, we still don't know if Lamar Jackson's in it. We know Brady was in it. We know guys that are good in the clutch. Uh, officially, Kirk Cousins, like Peyton Manning, took him a few years. He's graduated. And, and I'll tell you that last night, a minute 14, no timeouts. Driving down, spiking the ball was a master's class. And I'm here to tell you, 75% of the quarterbacks in the NFL can't do that. I mean, I've watched the Cowboys and Dak, and Dak's a good quarterback, butcher the clock. That last drive, there are not 12 guys on the face of the earth that can do that. Between the quarterbacking with Cousins and look at the efficiency, that is a well-schooled team. Between the coaching in Atlanta and Kirk Cousins, I mean, we all know, we all watch every weekend teams that butcher the clock. That is literally goat stuff. That's Brady. That's Manning. That's Mahomes. <laughs> the referee pirouettes through, puts the ball down. They spike it with one second. That is so much hard. These rookie quarterbacks, they can have good Sundays. They're not doing that. These second and third year guys, I don't think they're doing that. I mean, what you're watching last night is top of the class stuff. And that's a professional quarterback. So, I mean, just all of it, watching it. And Baker played great, and I'll get to that in a bit, too. But you're just watching a guy who has been an absolute pro for 10 years. He laughs at the dad jokes. He admits his swag is actually that he has none. Kirk Cousins deserved that. But more importantly, Kirk Cousins had earned that. He has officially passed Joe Montana <laughs> in passing yards and passing touchdowns. The anti-swag guy. Later in the hour. What a moment. What a game. A standalone game. Head of the class. All right. Mets. What a night it was in sports. Mets Brewers. I said yesterday on the show. I was kind of pulling for the Mets. Because the Mets and the Phillies along with the Dodgers and the Padres, it just feels big. Now, Milwaukee's stacked, Milwaukee's young, Milwaukee's great, uh, and that one, that leaves a mark, that loss. But So here you go, 
with Pete Alonso. And Pete Alonso is the classic power hitter. Great at the home run derby, big bombs, lots of strikeouts. Uh, and as this team has been on fire since June, Pete has not had a great season, hitting 240, struck at 172 times. Um, you know, the nickname is the polar bear, the way he wears his socks, the high socks. He's really an old school guy, but he's a free agent. And the Mets had offered him a deal. And Pete Alonso had turned it down. And he and as the team was playing well, Pete hasn't had a great season. It's been a little rocky, right? And so this is New York. It's not St. Louis where everybody's nice. It's not Minnesota. There's a term, Minnesota nice. It's New York. New Yorkers are nice. But uh, win. We're paying a lot for these tickets. The intensity in New York is different. Uh, the Yankees across the street have won so many games and so many World Series titles. What is it, like 27? Uh, Met fans want you to deliver. You're a free agent. They made an offer. You passed. So I don't know if the city had turned on him, but he, <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't in the family circle. It felt like he was on his way out. He was leaving the family. Top of the ninth. Trailing to nothing. Season about the end. Here it is. It's at the end. And, and what do you know? The big bomber Pete Alonzo steps up. Perfectly New York. A bum into a hero in about six seconds. And that's what New York does. He was the most popular Met for years. It's the home run derby. The, you know, your classic big bombs. A lot of strikeout guy. And again, the difference between New York and St. Louis is the intensity, the scrutiny, and the harshness. But New York also gives the best hugs. And when you're a hero, it's an amazing place. And this has been a clutch team all season. And Pete Alonso, who's been like one of the favorite players for years and years this year, kind of the tide turned. And he reels everybody in the apple right back in. Hi, everybody. It's me, Uncle Colin. Subscribe here to get the latest from the herd, including... Exclusive behind-the-scenes videos and more wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks again for making us part of your day.